Hello, dear friends. Welcome to the Mind, Body, Heart, Spirit podcast. I am your host and I am honored to have you on here. This is a brand new season for the podcast where on top of the daily meditations, we will deliver some daily messages on philosophy, spirituality, on your body, on your mind, on your heart. We're going to be talking about love. We're going to be talking about self-confidence and all of the really important subjects that we need to keep in mind daily. If you would like to receive those daily messages directly in your inbox, you can subscribe for free on my website, www.rafaelwriter.com. I will leave the link in the description to this episode. And so every day you will receive a message in the written format on top of the link for the podcast and some bonuses, including videos and more prompt for your contemplations, meditations and journaling. So head over now, www.rafaelwriter.com, subscribe to the daily messages. It is completely free. And now let's begin on today's episode. Today's daily message is titled, Diligence is the Mother of Luck. And we'll start with a quote by Marcus Aurelius, one of the founding fathers of Stoic philosophies, and of course he was the emperor of Rome. He says, I quote, You say good fortune used to meet you at every corner, but the fortunate person is the one who gives themselves a good fortune. And good fortunes are well-turned soul, good impulses and good actions. End of quote. Like Taoists, Buddhists, and Zen Buddhists, the Stoics believe that you should only focus on what is within your control. If you focus on anything you cannot directly control right here and now, you will create suffering, also known as stress and anxiety. Do your very best in life and at work. That is the only thing that you can do. If you work hard, cross that. If you work smart and prepare well, mitigating risks and having a plan A, a plan B, a plan C, down to Z, 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 you are putting more chances on your side. Diligence is the mother of luck. The Stoics had an analogy that tells the story of an archer. You might have heard me tell this story before because I tell it very often. (laughs) The archer will train his whole life for hours every day. He will also work hard to make the best arrows and maintain their bows. Then, when comes the day to protect their village, their community, the archer will do what he was trained to do, shooting arrows. The job of the archer is everything prior to releasing the arrow. He trains, he prepares, he takes aim and fires. What happens next is out of his control, onto the next shot. Because there could be a swoosh in the air, a bird coming between the arrow and the enemy, and so on. When the arrow is released, the job is done. Not when the arrow hits the target. Think about this at your next product launch or review. Your personal retrospective. I do them every day. I highly recommend you do too. When you ask yourself, what did I learn? What went well? What do I need to improve? And so on. And ask yourself, did you do the best you could? Did you analyze risks and make plans? If you did your best, the job was successfully done. No matter the outcome. Of course, you might have to pivot, change your strategy, move on tomorrow to do something else or to fix something. Maybe you tried something that didn't work, but it's the trying that was important. And so to recap, everything out of your control is either good luck or bad luck. Give your luck the opportunity to be good. You know how. Now do it. I hope that this teaching has resonated with you and brought you some value If you get my daily emails, don't hesitate to click reply and let me know how you're going to use this little nugget in your own lives 
today and every day.